if this works, this can be a game changer for the for the shaking brew. Spoiler alert, it I already knew. It works, but I do want to try it a little bit more before I uh, evaluate the whole thing, but it works. Getting a good head here today. So, let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans. This is uh, Dunkelweise. This is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So today we're doing a shake to glass, but I kind of messed it up because I already poured the beer. Here you have a beautiful Dunkelweise. So glass to back to the future. Doc, I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. This video is sponsored by Angel Gist. So I use their WA18, like a German style wheat beer yeast. And I also use their yeast nutrient, Brew Nutri Set. First link in the description goes to all of Angel Gist brewing stuff. And also, if you want to download the recipe, you'll find the links down below also. Look at that massive head, good level of carbonation. And I know I'm screaming, sorry about that. It's not really as dark as you see it. It is a really beautiful looking beer. Quite happy with it. So this shake and brew has an extra special experiment with it, which I never tried before, but it was something that I have been thinking about doing. And yeah, it worked. But I want to try it out with maybe some other kind of malt also. This was fermented in a 9 liter mini keg. So I started by boiling up 1 liter of water. I added 2 bags, 500 gram each. Yes, doctor will convert everything into birds and stones in post. I added 2 bags of DME, wheat DME, and that is made from 50% wheat malt, 50% pilsner malt. And I grinded up 50 grams of roasted wheat malt to a fine powder with my coffee grinder. I added a teaspoon of Brew Nutri Zed. I also added 15 grams of HBC 638. Yes, hops, experimental hops. I wanted to use an high alpha acid hops. It has 14% alpha acid because I didn't want to use as much hops as this beer style is not about hops. It's about head. No, it's about malt and of course the yeast flavor. Then I poured one liter boiling water on top of all ingredients, closed up the cake, gave it a shake for about five minutes to dissolve all of the ingredients and to get the bitterness I want from that hops. Then I topped it up with seven liters of water and gave it another shake. So I'm now up to a total amount of eight liters of, of water. Just because I could, I did put some oxygen in the headspace before I shook it you don't need to do that. I just have stuff and I do stupid things here. Then I pressurized the vessel and realized that I was stupid and I forgot about the yeast. So I opened up the keg again and actually added the yeast. WA18. Yes. Then I repressured the keg, set my spanning valve to about 20, 25 psi, I think. I, I was aiming to like bump the pressure up, but fermentation was so super fast. I put a heating mat on and some insulation, which I stole from a Girl Scout, and set the temperature to 23 Celsius. This was temperature controlled with my STC 1000. The next morning it was going crazy. This has totally fermented out in one and a half day. I got an original gravity of 1048 and a final gravity of 1009, which gave me a 5.1% beer. I did have to add some extra carbonation afterwards and the extra experiment in this beer if you haven't figured it out is that I added real grains to the keg and left it there. I never tried that before. I always like steeped or cold mash. This saves a lot more time so I want to try this with other beer styles as well. Let's taste the beer. What this is, this is a hard cider, which I'm dry hopping. So that in an upcoming video, if, that, if, if I don't totally screw that up, I screw up a lot here. So don't think 
about becoming a subscriber because my channel sucks there's a lot of better channels for you to go and subscribe to but i do appreciate a thumbs up and a comment down below so let's give it a nose if i forgot anything extremely important in the uh, in the recipe you can go and download that as i said linked down below okay so we got banana estuary I do get a little bit more of the clothes now. Uh, I didn't when it was super young. This has been uh, cold crashing for about one and a half week now. Or a conditioning, cold, whatever you want. I do pick up some like roasted grains in there also. Cheers. Banana, bready, even some slight hint of, I won't say chocolate, but I'm not, not Sure, I go. I get the clothes also. Really, a lot of flavor from that 50 grams of roasted grains. No harshness at all. Just like malty. It's like toasted bread. If you want to check out how I do the recipes for the shake and brew, why don't you go and watch this video. A big shout out to Angie's for sponsoring the videos and to my patrons and channel members. Cheers and thanks for watching. Dog to Hans out.